Researchers from School of Life Sciences, Peking University, have recently developed and validated a pair of genetically encoded GPCR activation-based norepinephrine sensors, namely GRAB-NE sensors, which provide a powerful imaging-based probe for measuring the cell-specific regulation of noradrenergic transmission. This study was led by Dr. Yu Longli's group, located in Lu Zhihe Building of Peking University. Neurotransmitters play an important role in mediating neuronal communications, and neuromodulators like dopamine, acetylcholine, and norepinephrine are also very important to shape neuronal communications. But it's always been difficult to study these neuromodulators, especially in the living brain with the cellular resolution and with chemical specificity. And here, our group designed generate and validate a genetic encoded norepinephrine sensors that enable we enable us to measure norepinephrine in a number of motor organisms in vivo. And my student Jesse will talk about details of our approach and our validation in a number of different systems. And as you can see, this new genetic encoded norepinephrine sensors really have good sensitivity and specificity and enable us and, and hopefully the whole, whole neuroscience community to study norepinephrine using this cutting-edge new tool. Norepinephrine is a key monoamine neurotransmitter in the central nervous system and peripheral organs of vertebrate organisms. In the brain, NE is synthesized primarily in neurons of the local cellulose, a small yet powerful nucleus located in the pounds, and project noradrenergic neurons throughout the brain. It plays important roles in the plethora of physiological processes, allowing the organism to cope with its ever-changing internal and external environments, including processing sensory information, regulating the sleep, wake, and arousal state, and mediating attentional function. Blocking noradrenergic transmission causes impaired cognition and is closely correlated with a variety of psychiatric conditions and neurodegenerative diseases including anxiety, depression, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, and Parkinson's disease. It is therefore particularly critical to detect any dynamics with good spatial temporal resolution in a complex neural circuit in order to fully understand its regulation and alteration of NE. Unfortunately, currently available techniques are limited in terms of their sensitivity, specificity, spatial temporal resolution, and non-invasiveness, hampering our ability to understand NE's dynamics in vivo. Inspired by the structure and the working mechanism of the beta-2 antinergic GPCR, we exploited the conformational change between the fifth and sixth transmembrane domains upon ligand binding to modulate the brightness of an attached fluorescent protein. Hex cells expressing variants of grab ne sensors were screened using an Opera Phoenix high-content confocal imaging system with a 488 nanometer laser. From over 500 candidates, we developed a family of grab ne sensors with over 200% peak response to NE, good photostability, nanomolar to micromolar sensitivities, and subsecond kinetics. Notably, the medium affinity version grab ne one m shows a 350-fold higher selectivity for NE versus dopamine. We have demonstrated that viral-mediated expression of grab ne sensors were able to detect electrical stimulation evoke NE release in the local cellulars of mouse brain slices. In in vivo experiments, expression of grab ne sensors were able to detect lumen-evoked NE release in the midbrain of live zebrafish, as well as optogenetically triggered NE release in the LC of freely moving mice. As the hypothalamus receives, vast neuroendrenergic projections, we are interested in using the grab norepinephrine sensor to track norepinephrine dynamics in freely moving mice during distinct behavioral paradigms. After injection of the grab norepinephrine 1M sensor in the latter hypothalamus, we performed fiber photometry recordings in freely moving mice during distinct stressful and non-stressful conditions. You can observe here that during the tail suspension test, in which the animal is lifted by the tail into the air, which is very stressful, we see robust increases in fluorescent signal. We also observe fluorescent signal increases during a force test, but not when the mouse is in contact with peanut butter, which is rewarding. 
As you can see from the trace, once the animal is no longer in the air, fluorescence signal decreases back to baseline. These results demonstrate how we can measure endogenous norepinephrine dynamics with high spatial temporal precision in real time in freely moving mice. Taken together, we provide grab ne sensors as robust tools for rapid and specific detection of NE in vivo in both physiological and pathological conditions. We welcome all users to light up the brain.